Hey, I'm Al Cornell. Thanks very much for joining me. We have spent the last couple of days up here in Vancouver, British Columbia. We were shooting video at the Cambridge House Investment Conference Sunday and Monday, and when we are in our studios today, kind of updating you on a couple of our sponsor companies, one of the companies being uh, Casa Gold. Casa Gold is run by a gentleman, by the PhD geologist, I have to say, by the name of Greg Myers. Greg is a really, really good guy. These are active, this company is active in both Nicaragua and in Mexico. And I have to tell you something in the interest of full disclosure. Big Al did buy stock in this company a while back, uh, actually on the, uh, on the uh, initial public offering, and I'm very, very glad I did. So for gosh sakes, don't construe this as investment advice because it's not. I'm just telling you what I have done in the past. And this is a company that, that is a sponsor on our website. If you want more information, click on their banner. It's a really interesting situation. Greg, we talked on the, uh, on the air in, ter in terms of radio about uh, what's going on with CASA in Nicaragua and Mexico uh, over the weekend. Do us a favor, if you would, and first of all, start out, kind of give an overview of the company, talking about your assets in both those countries. Okay, well, we've just kind of uh, become public <clears throat> in the last few weeks, and uh, our projects, we have two projects we'll be pursuing in Mexico mm -hmm. uh, with a drilling program starting next month. Uh, that project is the Santiago Project, a series of high-grade veins that we'll be uh, testing and extending uh, as much as possible. It's uh, been in the same family for a hundred years, never had any exploration. So it's a, a kind of a unique opportunity to... What did the family do with that for a hundred years? Well, they, uh, they'd <coughs> go up, uh, they had small workings on the high-grade mm -hmm. veins, and they'd go in and mine a little gold when they uh, got hungry. Yeah. And uh, they're small little lattice. They go back oh, 25 meters is a deep one. So it's uh, kind of a nice little, nice little operation for them. How'd you guys find that? Well, it was a property that uh, an X-Men, uh, a former X-Men property, and they had uh, acquired it but never done any work. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a chance for us to get in and do something with this family and uh, try and work something out with them. So it's And so you guys have drill rigs going down there. No, actually, you've, if, if I'm not mistaken, the work so far has been basically surface sampling, and then you're going to go in with some drigs, correct? That's right. We've been surface sampling, uh, have a couple crews down there right now and they have been for two months and we're going to start drilling probably around the end of February. Right now we're building drill roads to get into the area. Let's go south a little bit to Nicaragua. How did you guys get interested down there? Well, I have a friend that I've worked with for 25 years. He worked for me at Phelps Dodge and uh -huh. a couple other areas and he uh, came to me uh, beginning of December and said he had just identified a very, very interesting target I should take a look at. So I hopped on the hopped plane, on an airplane, right? flew down and looked, and I uh, got out to the property. I had some maps, and I, you know, you have an eight and a half by 11 page, and you look at it and say, well, I'll walk around here. Sure. And I got there, and I stood there and looked up at the mountain we had to climb, and I was amazed at what I saw. It was just absolutely huge. And I uh, started hiking, and every rock we looked at was altered, and every rock that we looked at had interesting potential mineralization to it. Mm -hmm. And after four hours of hiking, I realized I was only about a quarter of the way into the target area. Wow. So I realized uh, I had a tiger by the tail. So uh, that's kind of how we got introduced to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I immediately knew it was something we had to try and acquire. So I, I, I talked with my friend and his associates, and we were able to come to terms. and Strike uh, a deal, so to speak. Yeah. What exactly are you guys doing down there right now? We have uh, several geologists on site doing surface mapping and sampling. Uh, trying to further define the geochemical anomaly. Previous mm -hmm. sampling, there had been about 2,000 samples taken in the past, and they were only on ridge tops, so it was kind of a limited sampling sure. um, s uh, s array that we had. So we tried to expand that, and that's what we're doing now. So now, if I'm not mistaken, chatting with you over the weekend at the show, you were saying that in terms of your efforts. Uh, you're really not focusing necessarily specifically in Nicaragua or in Mexico. You're kind of working both areas concurrently. That's right. We yeah. have three separate projects operating at the same time right now, two in Mexico and, and Nicaragua. Okay. Uh, if, if, if I were to ask you, for example, what, what do you plan specifically to do for the remainder of 2011, which is damn near a year at this point, mm -hmm basically exploration work, correct? That's right. We'll be drilling all three projects mm -hmm. in the course of the year and a lot of surface work on all three as well. So really defining targets, making sure that we're drilling the right ones, and then making sure we drill. 
How'd you get, how'd you get involved with Casa Gold? I mean, Brad Cook is an old friend of mine, and, and I know he only, he, only, he only brings really qualified people to the team. And I know that you're really qualified, but how did you guys get together? Well, I had a, a friend that introduced us uh, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew they had an opportunity, and Brad talked to me about coming on and helping with Casa. It had been sitting private for a while. Yeah. And uh, he said, why don't you come on in and help us go public? And it looked like an interesting opportunity. I looked at the projects and thought, these have some potential. We went out and looked at the projects in the field, and mm -hmm. there was a lot more to it than what it, it looked like on paper. So I got excited. And uh, the rest is history. We've uh, hit it off very well. I really like working with Brad. He's, oh, the whole team is, they're really good guys. You yeah. Know, I've known him for over 20 years. He's a good guy. Well, it's nice. They're a, they have a strong set of ethics, and I yeah. like working for people like that. Sure. No, me too. Casa Gold. Take a look at it. If you want more information, click on the banner on our website. Let me say again, Big Al is highly biased in this situation. We, uh, we have bought stock uh, in the company. We're glad that we did. Uh, and so remember, I'm not a registered investment advisor, so don't construe this as being investment advice because I'm not telling you to buy anything or sell anything. What I'm telling you is this is an opportunity that I seized upon. If you want to examine it, take a look and see if you don't agree with me. Just click on their banner. Greg, always a pleasure, buddy. Thank Great. you. Thank you.